Are you craving takeout right now? Yeah, so are we. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you four different slow cooker recipes that will make it feel like you just ordered takeout. Okay, I just wrote on my bag what this is. This is sweet fire chicken and today's date. But I have my nifty Ziploc bag holders. I love these. I will leave a link for this down below. If you don't have one of these, you could do this with a juice container. I've done that a lot, or prop it in a bowl. But first, let me share with you the ingredients you'll need. All right, for this recipe, you're gonna need three to four chicken breasts chopped, but I'm using frozen chicken breasts, so I'm gonna add more of these ingredients into my bag because we're, we are a family of six at the moment. <laughs> Very quick moment. Uh, then we'll be down to five. Um, but so I have my frozen chicken breast here you're gonna need to mince up some garlic have some chopped red peppers water you're gonna need to drain some pineapple chunks or tidbits some sweet red chili sauce some red pepper flakes sugar salt and yeah that's what you're gonna need for this recipe so let's get it all in the bag and we'll mix it so the directions say we're gonna put all the ingredients in a bowl and whisk it together. I don't want to make that much of a mess, so I am going to just dump it in this bag and we'll mush the bag up and that will be our mixing. So I am going to pour the water in. So I'm just going to mince up the garlic. It says two teaspoons. I don't really measure garlic because garlic is amazing. The recipe calls for two teaspoons of minced garlic. I am not going to measure that. Garlic is so good, so I'm just going to crush whatever I think is two teaspoons. So it's just probably a couple cloves. All right, you're gonna need one to two teaspoons of the red pepper flakes. Then you'll need two thirds cup sugar. Then we're gonna add the two tablespoons of the sweet red chili. And then the half a teaspoon of salt. All right, this is where you need to, this is where we need to whisk. So I'm just gonna do this help dissolve that sugar. You know, I probably didn't need to use a whole cup of water because um, I have frozen chicken breasts. This smells so good. <laughs> All right, add your chicken. What, I'm probably gonna shred this chicken when I cook it and instead of having it cubed, but whatever. It's gonna taste good. All right, and then we're gonna add our peppers. So I'm just draining this pineapple can, and I'm definitely gonna save the juice. I do have a ham going in my slow cooker right now, so I'm gonna probably pour some of this in. If you're not gonna use your juice for any recipe right away, you can put it in a container and freeze it. So it was a 20 ounce can that we're using, and it's pineapple chunks, and we're gonna add that in there. Get the air out as best as you can. All right. So you can lay this down in your freezer on a cookie sheet or a cutting board and let it freeze so it doesn't get stuck on, if you have a freezer with the slats, the grates, I've had that happen. All right, so this is going in the freezer. Sweet fire chicken. On this bag, I'm gonna write honey sesame chicken and then I'll put slow cooker I think I forgot to put on the other meal slow cooker and how long oh well I can go back out there and put a sticky note on it low three and one half hours I'm gonna put on here the cookbook so I can refer back to it I'm all labeled let's get all the ingredients in for this recipe you're gonna need one small onion dice two cloves of minced garlic some salt and pepper two tablespoons of vegetable oil a half cup of honey one fourth teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes a fourth cup of ketchup a half cup of soy sauce and two pounds of boneless skinless chicken thighs so I'm gonna add the chicken in I'm gonna add the onion and the garlic. So this is two tablespoons of the vegetable oil. 
I spray down my measuring cup for the honey so it'll pour out easier. And that's a half a cup of honey. I'm gonna add a half a cup of the soy sauce. Fourth a cup of ketchup. And then a fourth a teaspoon of the red pepper flakes. And then just salt and pepper to taste. I'm just gonna do a little of this, do a little of that. It's interesting that she calls this honey sesame chicken because the sesame is just putting sesame on at the end. I wonder without, because I haven't had this recipe yet, if switching out the vegetable oil for some sesame oil, not two tablespoons of it, but a little of that, if that would have made a difference. So when I go to cook this the first time, I'll give it a taste and see and alter it. What would you do? But I like making recipes that I haven't had for the first time as is. I, I don't like altering them until I've tasted how they are as is. But doesn't mean that I can't add a little of the oil in later if I decide to, but we're gonna make it as is and we'll go from there. But the sesame part is just adding sesame seeds on the day you cook it, that's it. So you could mix all this in a bowl, all these recipes, and then pour it over your chicken, but then, then that's just creating more of a mess, more bowls and stuff, so this way is just easier. And just make sure you get all the air out, and then lay this flat in your freezer. All right, I'm gonna go lay this flat in my freezer. Again, a tip for you is you could put a cutting board down in your freezer or a baking sheet and lay it on there. That way, um, it depends on what kind of shelves your freezer has. So, but I'm gonna go lay this down in my freezer and we have honey sesame chicken. All right, the next recipe from the cookbook is the sweet teriyaki chicken and you can find this on page 91. All right, so with this chicken recipe, it's gonna be uh, on low two to three hours. Wow. And then you need to really watch the recipe because it says that after that, you're gonna take it out, put cornstarch in your water and get it thick and you're gonna add your chicken back in to the sauce and let it cook for another 20 minutes. So that's why with this one, I'm definitely putting the page number on so I can refer back. All right, let's check out the ingredients for this recipe. We're gonna need two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, one diced onion, a couple of cloves of garlic minced, salt pepper, a half a cup of soy sauce, a cup of honey, one fourth cup of rice vinegar, about a tablespoon of grated peeled fresh ginger, but I'm gonna use this um, ginger that I have in my refrigerator, and some salt and pepper. So let's get this bagged up. All right, let's get our chicken in the bag. And of course, you can use frozen chicken with any of these recipes like I did with the frozen chicken breast. But I bought thighs and drumsticks fresh um, from Sam's Club, so that's what I'm using. But I use a lot of frozen chicken when I go to do freezer meals because I keep chicken in my freezer. Either way, it's gonna be great. So that diced onion is about a cup. Okay, I'm gonna add the garlic in. All right, a half a cup of the soy sauce, and then a half a cup of that honey. I really like rice vinegar. Do you guys like rice vinegar? I do. I, I, not a lot, but I really do like rice vinegar. So we're gonna need a fourth a cup of this. You need about a fourth a teaspoon of the ground pepper. All right, and then I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of the ginger. I thought I saw salt for the recipe, but I had the salt out, but there's no salt called for it. All right, so we're gonna mush this together. Get that honey and ginger worked in there. This one I know is gonna be so yummy. It smells, it smells so good, you guys. I know this one is gonna be so yummy. What are some of your favorite, like, Asian-inspired dishes that you already make that you know you could freeze. I'm already thinking back on a lot of recipes I've already shared with you guys and that I know I can make into freezer meals. So for this recipe, um, after, two, after the two to three hours, you can cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces. Same with all of these recipes. 
And then I'm gonna mix the water. It's a fourth cup of water with two tablespoons of cornstarch. Put it in the slow cooker, thicken that up, and then put the chicken back in and let it cook for another 20 minutes, okay? So there we have it, sweet teriyaki chicken for the freezer. Can you imagine this over a medley of vegetables that you would normally do for like a stir fry? Oh, yum. This next recipe is orange pepper chicken wings, or you could do drumsticks. I am using drumsticks today. So I'm gonna write all the information on the bag. Low for four hours. All right, let's see the ingredients for this recipe. Okay, for this recipe, like I said, I'm using drumsticks. Uh, I took the skins off of them. If you have wings, go for it, but this is what I had. Um, you're going to need, so either eight large wings or drumsticks, but I put enough here to feed our family. And then you're going to need two tablespoons of orange juice, a half tablespoon of red pepper flakes, three tablespoons of soy sauce, one third cup honey, two tablespoons of ground ginger, and one tablespoon of rice vinegar. All right, let's get our chicken drumsticks in. Now I know you could use smaller, like the little petite drumsticks, but we want some meat to feed the family. So here's the one third cup honey. the two tablespoons of the orange juice, three tablespoons of soy sauce. And let's get that soy sauce in here. And then the tablespoon of rice vinegar. Now it wants ground ginger, like ground ginger. Would you use the ground ginger? Or I'm gonna ask you on Instagram right now if I should do the ground ginger powder or this stuff. Hmm. Like I said, I like to taste a, <laughs> the recipe as is, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see online what you guys say. All right, I'm gonna do a poll. Okay, one half tablespoon of the pepper flakes. That's gonna be spicy. Woo! All right, 20 more people on that poll said <laughs> the the squeezed ginger, and I think, I think that is why. So. This is the exception to the rule today with following a recipe. So two tablespoons it is. I'd rather have more flavor than not enough flavor. I could regret this, but. Now, when you do have freezer meals with honey, Sometimes the liquid has a hard time freezing um, with the honey. I've noticed that it could still be mushy when everything else is frozen. You're gonna be okay as long as you cook your chicken and, and ingredients to the right temperature and don't let this go over three months in your freezer. You're gonna be fine. All right, let's get the air out and we'll get this in the freezer. I hope you give this book a try. I'm very impressed with it. It's been in my cupboard for a while. I've I've tried a lot and love what's in here. Give it a good, good little rubbing, a good little massage. You, you like that? Mm. That feels good, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. 